And just take a deep breath all the way down to your room, your creative center. You can close your eyes if you feel like it. But if it's not okay for you, it's also okay to keep your eyes open. But try not to distract yourself, but just gently gaze at a point where you feel you can kind of go inwards rather than just um, scanning around. Yeah, just take a nice, gentle breath all the way to your womb. Feel your body. Oh, and let go. Take a deep breath all the way down to your womb, a big one, big, big, big one, and then let go. Just observe your breath for a moment. Because the way we breathe, the way we live our lives. Life is based on giving and receiving. So how much air can you take in without really stretching yourself? Oh, can you take it abundantly with joy, with ease? Or do you have to really put a force in it? Just become conscious of that. Oh, and then let go. Yes, just let go. And just become conscious of your breath, the way you take in and the way you let out. And then we're going to just make a small journey backwards in time. You don't need to try and remember, but just trust whatever comes to you. And every time you feel lost or feel like dozing off a bit, just come back to your breath and remember your breath is your connector to life. Just feel your feet, your body, and connect with your breath again. Yeah, just become conscious of yourself just before we started this masterclass. What was happening? What comes up for you? Maybe you were just rushing, trying to find your laptop, your phone, or maybe you were just relaxed and having a cup of coffee or tea. Don't try to change it. Whatever it was, just become conscious of that without changing it. Maybe a scene comes up, maybe a sensation, maybe a word, whatever comes up, just allow it to come to your consciousness. And then let go. Then take a deep breath and let's start the journey backwards in time. How was it for you? today, almost like a screen in front of you, just keep watching yourself reversing back like a movie on the screen, your day, maybe you were rushing in a city, maybe you were just at home, maybe you were working, maybe not. And how was the dominating feeling for you for today? Maybe stress, maybe anger, maybe joy, maybe anxiety. It's all okay. Don't try to fix it or change it or judge it. Just become conscious of it. That's all. You don't need to change anything. 
And then take a deep breath and let go all the way to the morning that you woke up this morning. Maybe it was a hard morning. Maybe it was just very spontaneous and energetic morning for you. Just become conscious of that. And then allow the movie reversing back in time to last night before you just went to bed. If you don't remember, that's okay. But just trust your sensation. If it's blank, it's blank. If it's gray, it's gray. If there is a lot of memory, that's also okay. Don't try to change anything, but just trust your intuition, whatever that comes to your consciousness. Just take a deep breath and connect with your breath and your feet, your body. And then gently reversing back in time, become conscious of the month of December. Gently reversing back December. Maybe the 10th of December, 9th, eight, seven, all the way back to beginning of December. Just take a deep breath and become conscious. How was the December for you like? What was it in one word for you? Maybe there were a lot of celebrations. So it was the month of celebration. Maybe there was a lot of connections, month of connection. Or maybe it was a month of struggle, sadness. It's okay, don't try to change it. Just become conscious of how was it for you. Take a deep breath. And then keep moving backwards on the screen. This time November. Just see the month of November reversing back gently, slowly, showing you all the memories, sensations, feelings from the month of November. Work, business, family, friends, hobbies, connections. What would be the theme of the month for you? One word for November. Don't analyze it. Just trust whatever comes for you. Hmm. Take a deep breath and let go of November. Stretch your body, your spine. Feel your feet again, your womb. And then keep watching the movie on the screen, reversing back. This time October, starting from the end of October, slowly, gently, going all the way back to beginning of October. What was happening for you in October? At work, family, friends, health. Just 
just become conscious what was happening for you without changing it, without analyzing it, whatever comes up. Take a deep breath and keep watching the screen, reversing backwards. Now we're going into September, end of summer. Schools are opening or maybe opened. Getting a bit colder. Weather is, winter is, season is changing. How was it for you? How was your life? How were you feeling then? What version of you was present in September? What was happening for you? Maybe some big celebrations. Maybe feeling a bit down. All okay. Just become conscious and keep watching the movie. And then we move to August. End of August mid-August and beginning of August. How was your August this past year? Just become conscious the feeling, the actions, the stories, whatever comes up for you for August. And what would be the one word for you to describe August? Expansion? Joy? Learning? Grief? And take a deep breath and keep moving now to July. How was the month of July for you, right in the middle of summer? Maybe some holidays, maybe some family time. Maybe working hard still. If nothing comes up, that's also fine. Maybe it was just empty month for you, resting, relaxing, lazy month. That's also okay. Don't judge yourself. And take a deep breath and let go of July also. And just stretch your spine, your body. Oh, and let go, big breath. You're doing great. Yeah, take a deep breath. And moving on to June. Sometimes just a feeling comes up, that's okay. Or sometimes an event comes up, that's also okay. Whatever comes up for you, just become conscious of that without changing it or judging it what is the theme of June for you in one word you don't need to remember any of them just see it become conscious of it and let go And then we move to May. 
end of spring, beginning of summer, kind of in between, more of a spring in some countries, more of a summer for some others, or even maybe a winter for some others. How was May for you? Maybe you were moving from one place to other. Maybe you were changing a job. Maybe you achieved something that you were celebrating. Just become conscious. And take a deep breath and let go. And let the movie keep playing backwards now into April. How is April? What was happening for you in April? What was the main emotion for you in April? And what is it in one word for you April was about? And take a deep breath and let go and come to March. March 2023, right beginning of spring. What's happening for you in March? The feeling, the events, the work, family, ambitions, planning. Yeah. And let go. Take a deep breath and let go. And then moving to February 2023. Right in the middle of winter for many of us. But maybe for some of us, no. How was February for you? It seems like so far away. But what comes up for you when I say February? And then January, beginning of 2023. How was January for you? What were you doing? What was your focus? And the main emotion for you, what was it? And all the way beginning of 2023, beginning of January, 1st of January. What are your goals, intentions for 2023? What are the seeds that you implanted right at the beginning of 2023? About work? About career? About business? About family? About your own well-being, your health? about your partner, love life, connections, family, about your personal development, about your relationship with money, abundance, and your hobbies. What was the intentions you put? for this year.
You may not remember all of them, that's okay. But just become conscious, the ones that comes to your consciousness right now. It's not an analytical work. Just allow whatever comes up. What was it you want to experience in 2023? And with that goals or intentions or visions, take them into your heart. And now start moving forward again with them. January, February, March, April, May, June. Keep that intentions, the visions, the seeds that you put for the year in your heart. June, July. Don't fade, don't let them fade away. Keep them in your heart, regardless of you done something about them or not, but they were your intentions. They were your dreams. So keep them in your heart. July, August, September, October, November, And 19th of December, today, now, 7 o'clock, UK time. And all those intentions, visions, goals are in your heart. And here we are at the end of 2023. Some of them maybe you achieved. Some of them maybe you failed. Some of them maybe... You totally forget, you didn't even remember. Doesn't matter, just own them. They were your dreams, they were your intentions. A year ago, you put those intentions out there. Yes, something happened along the way. Some of them are being manifested. Some of them faded away. Some of them maybe you tried, but it just wasn't possible. That's okay. Now, all this being in your heart and owning all these desires, the visions, I invite you to take a deep breath And put all these intentions, dreams in a container, in a box, maybe. Whatever feels right for you. And then put them in front of you. How does it look like? The shape, the color. Just become conscious of all of those in front of you, in the box, in the basket, whichever feels right for you. And then when you're ready, just stretch your body, take a deep breath, and open your eyes when you're ready.